Hey everybody, Random Frank P. In this video, we're going to be taking an original Xbox One controller, as you can see here, with the matte black finish. We're going to be taking it apart and putting on a nice matte white shell to it. Um, you can do this relatively cheap. You can order the shell from eBay. That's where I got it. I think I got it for like 10 bucks. And here we're just going to start putting together. You have the back handles here, which are separate from the back shell itself. Um, the bag full of just like some extra uh, screws and the triggers and whatnot. Oh. Uh, here are the two front and back shells. This is the front shell, obviously. As you can see, it's a nice matte white. Um, not glossy, but that's okay. It still looks nice. And this is the back shell right here. So we're going to start putting these things together. And uh, we're going to make the standard boring black controller into a nice white controller. Uh, we're not going to do all the triggers and the d-pad and stuff like that. That's, that's too complex for this simple video. But you're going to need some tools. Uh, this is just a T6 tool. You don't really need it at all for this. But here is going to be the Torx uh, T8H. That's going to be very important. Uh, this is going to be just a little tool to help you pry the thing open. And just some tweezers just in case. Alright now, so one of the first things you're going to want to do is take your little, um, I don't know what to call it, it's like a little separator tool I want to say. This is part that's very tough, you have to apply a lot of pressure. Uh, you're not going to break it, but just use all your power to where the little gaps are inside the controller and just try to pry it apart. It takes a while if you're not used to it, because I know I thought I was going to break it the first time I did it, but just use all your strength if you can and just try to pry it apart and they'll fly off like that. Uh, don't worry, it's not going to break, you'll be fine. But that's your first step because now that exposes all of your uh, screws so you can take the back panel apart. Uh, there are five total screws in the back, uh, two on each side. You have one in the middle there under the battery pack where there's originally a sticker there, but I took that off. You can see it goes right there, but you need to remove that so you can gain access to the important screw which holds the entire controller together. So you want to take that apart right away. Uh, the other four screws, there was one up at the top and the bottom on the side. You can see it right there on the bottom of the handle. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. I can't really focus right now. Uh, the one in the middle, like I said, two on the triggers and one on the bottom, which would equal five. So we're just going to go through this really quick. I'm not going to show me doing it. But uh, like I said, use that Torx T8H um, tool. It is a security tool because the screws on these have that little hole in the screw so you don't it's made so you can't mod them so make sure you get that tool and once you're taking all your screws apart as you can see I had to fast forward a little bit because it'd be boring you watch me take screws apart once all five are out you can now open the controller all I have to do is just pry apart the shells and you can see cool front and the back right now and you wiggle that out and there you go you're exposing all the really neat and intricate circuitry on the Xbox One controller Alright, now we're going to put on the shell, it's pretty simple, the back you just want to line up where the battery pack would go, just trying to, for, for now, uh, put that on like I'm doing here, but you're going to want to push the triggers down because there are those certain guard areas, uh, it takes a while if you're not used to it, just try to fit it on properly, hold it down tight so it makes sure it fits in, and like I said, just push the triggers down so you can get them in that certain, that little guard area near the triggers, and it'll fit appropriately, and then just push it in, make everything fit. And you can put on the front shell. Um, yeah, like see here, got the little motor swinging in the trigger, I mean the uh, handle. Make sure everything fits in place. You don't want to break anything or snap anything off. And just snap back on the front plate and push everything together. You'll hear it kind of click a little bit. And then just start with that case, I mean the, uh, the screw and the battery pack. Cause that's what holds the front, uh, the front shell to the board of the controller and then to the front uh, case or the front shell for it. And just screw everything back together as you can see I'm doing here. Like I said, there are five total. And then make sure everything feels right. You know, make the, sh the tr make sure the triggers are clicking down because that's going to be the hardest part is messing up the triggers if you're not used to this. And then if everything's good, you just want to snap back on these the little handles on the side. Uh, they're kind of weird. You just have to line them up where like the little indents are and just snap them in place. They're a lot easier to put on as opposed to the difficulty they are to take off. And then once you do that, you know, just look around, make sure everything's right, make sure you didn't forget anything, and you will have your new Xbox One controller. You know, they have those special I Made It glossy white ones. You can get on eBay for like $400, or you can just buy a $15 shell like this is, 
and do it yourself and it looks just as nice. I mean, it's not glossy, but uh, I like the matte. It doesn't look bad. Here, I can just put the sticker back on, make it more official and put the battery pack cover on and there you go. You have your custom white Xbox One controller. It looks great. You don't have to spend all the money for it. There you go. I'm just showing you some close-up shots of it. As you can see, it doesn't look cheap. You know, it doesn't look like a knockoff. It, it's probably what they would use. It's, uh, it's some manufacturer from China, but there you go. It looks really nice. If you like this video, hit subscribe. Thanks.